So this is a monarch butterfly chrysalis, and monarchs are not technically endangered, but they kind of are. So I'll put a link to an article that I just read about them where you can check out more about that. But the butterflies are really good with their, like their instinct for migration, but the caterpillars seem to pick the silliest places to hang their chrysalis. And this little fella was hanging really low on the side of a rain barrel and a cat or dog could easily knock it off or we had a really crazy uh, rainstorm today and it could have been knocked off and destroyed in the wind and rain. Thankfully, I saw him yesterday and I was able to wait for, you see the little black tip at the very top? It's got a name, I don't know what it is, but you wait for that to turn black and then you can use tweezers to gently remove it from what it's, uh, whatever it's hanging onto by the silk at the end of it and a little dab of hot glue on a stick and then you just sort of gently tuck it into the hot glue and now it's in our little butterfly habitat so we get to watch him come out of his chrysalis. Hopefully we get to actually see it happen and then we'll be able to put him back outside with his family on the flowers and he can just live his best life. Sadly, another one that I had seen in a bad spot, I was waiting for the little spot to turn black and forgot and when I went the next day, just a few hours late, um, it had already been knocked down and stepped on. So that was really sad. So this is us just trying to do our part to save one little monarch and we get to enjoy watching it because um, as a homeschool family, if you're not hatching butterflies in your kitchen on your dining room table, are you really a homeschool family? <laughs> anyway, this is my little how-to from your resident crazy, uh, what am I, a chaotic garden fairy extraordinaire. <laughs> Follow me for more um, gardening and saving the butterflies and whatever else on earth I do on this channel. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a good day. Bye.